Want to explore London on a budget? Buckle up, because we're about to share some amazing travel hacks that will make your London trip affordable and unforgettable. First things first, planning is key. London is a sprawling city, and to make the most of your time here, it's important to plan your days around specific areas. This way, you can minimize travel time and maximize your experiences. So, whether you're drawn to the bohemian charm of Camden Market, the regal elegance of Kensington, or the vibrant diversity of Brixton, mapping out your journey beforehand can make all the difference. Now, let's talk about getting around. The London Underground, affectionately known as the Tube, is your best friend for zipping across the city. The secret to mastering this labyrinth lies in one magical card, the Oyster Card. This nifty little tool can save you a small fortune on fares, making your travels not just quicker but cheaper too. But what if you fancy a more scenic route? Well, London's got you covered. The city's hire bike scheme offers a fun, affordable way to see the sights at your own pace. With docking stations dotted all around the city, you can pick up a bike and start your adventure whenever the mood strikes. Plus, it's a great way to soak up the city's unique atmosphere and maybe even stumble upon a hidden gem or two. So with smart planning and the right tools, you can navigate London like a local without breaking the bank. Stay tuned for more tips on how to enjoy this incredible city on a shoestring budget. Did you know there are countless places in London you can visit for free or for a small donation? Yes, that's right. London is not just about the Big Ben or the London Eye. It's a city rich in history, culture and art. And the best part is that you can experience much of it without spending a penny. Let's start with the world-class museums. The British Museum, the National Gallery and the Natural History Museum are just a few of the many institutions that offer free entry. Here you can spend hours marveling at ancient artifacts, masterpieces of art and fascinating exhibits. And if you're willing to leave a small donation, you're contributing to the preservation of these treasures for future generations. Moving on, London's parks are another fantastic free resource. Hyde Park, Regent's Park and Hampstead Heath offer vast green spaces where you can picnic, people watch or just relax. These parks also host free events throughout the year, from concerts to art installations. Historical landmarks like the Houses of Parliament, Tower Bridge and St James's Palace can be viewed from the outside without any cost. For a unique experience, catch the changing of the guard ceremony outside Buckingham Palace. It's an iconic spectacle that reflects the grandeur of the city, and it's completely free. But don't just stick to the beaten path. Exploring neighborhoods outside of the tourist hotspots can give you a more authentic experience. Wander around the vibrant streets of Camden Town, soak up the bohemian vibes in Shoreditch, or explore the charming village-like atmosphere in Hampstead. Each neighborhood has its own character and charm, and exploring them won't cost you anything. And let's not forget about London's public libraries, community events, street performances and markets. All of these add to the city's vibrant atmosphere and can be enjoyed without spending a penny. So remember, some of the best experiences in London don't come with a price tag. It's about immersing yourself in the city, its history, its culture, and its people. And that, my friends, is priceless. Who doesn't love a good deal? Especially when it can save you money on some of London's top attractions. Now let's talk about how to make the most of your money when you're exploring the city. One of the best ways to save money is by getting a discount visitor card, such as the London Pass. This handy card can give you free entry to over 80 attractions in London, including the Tower of London, Westminster Abbey, and a Thames River Cruise. Not only does it save you money, but it also helps you skip the queues at some of the busiest attractions, making your sightseeing experience even more enjoyable. But that's not all. There's also the historic Royal Palaces membership. With this, you can visit the Tower of London, Hampton Court Palace and Kensington Palace as many times as you like within a year. It's an absolute steal if you're a history buff or a fan of royal residences. Beyond these cards, there are also online voucher deals that can save you a significant amount of money. Websites like Groupon and Living Social offer great deals on everything from dining experiences to spa treatments and even tours. So, before you head out, make sure to check what's on offer. And of course, let's not forget about the discounts available for students, children and seniors. Many attractions in London offer reduced rates for these groups. For instance, students can get discounted tickets for West End shows if they book on the day of the performance. So if you fall into any of these categories, make sure to carry your ID with you and don't hesitate to ask about discounts. 
With the right cards and a keen eye for deals, you can enjoy London's top attractions without emptying your wallet. Food can be a major expense when traveling, but not if you know where to look. In London, there are countless ways to enjoy the city's tastes without the hefty price tag. One of the best ways to save money and still eat like a king is by visiting local markets. Borough Market, for instance, is a treasure trove of fresh produce, artisanal cheeses, and mouth-watering street food from around the world. You can sample diverse flavors while supporting local vendors, and the prices are often surprisingly affordable. Another savvy way to save on meals is by using the Too Good To Go app. This app teams up with restaurants and cafes to offer discounted takeaway meals that would otherwise go to waste. Not only does it help you save money, but it's also a great way to try a variety of dishes and contribute to reducing food waste. And let's not forget about London's iconic food establishments, the chip shops, greasy spoon cafes, pie and mash shops, and pubs. These places offer hearty, traditional British fare at a fraction of the price of a fancy restaurant. If you're after a classic fish and chips or a comforting shepherd's pie, these are the places to go. If you fancy a drink with your meal, consider bringing your own alcohol to restaurants without a liquor license. This is a common practice in many parts of London and can save you a significant amount on your dining bill. But remember, eating on a budget doesn't mean you have to compromise on taste or quality. In fact, some of the best food experiences in London can be found in the most unexpected places. So next time you're in the city, don't be afraid to venture off the beaten path and explore the local food scene. Eating on a budget doesn't mean missing out on London's culinary scene. It's all about knowing where to go. Saving money on accommodation and transportation can make a big difference to your budget. So let's dive into some tips for finding affordable accommodation first. London, like any other city, has its pricey areas and its budget-friendly spots. If you're looking to save, consider staying in zones 3 or 4. The accommodation rates here are usually more wallet-friendly, and you're still just a quick underground ride away from the heart of the city. Now, if you're really looking to stretch your pound, consider opting for budget hotels or hostels. They may not offer five-star luxury, but they provide a clean, safe place to rest your head after a day of exploring the city. And who knows, you might even meet some fellow travelers with great tips on hidden gems to visit. Next up is transportation. Getting to London can be a significant chunk of your budget, especially if you're flying in. But don't fret, budget airlines are your friend here. They often offer competitive fares to London. Just be aware of the airport you fly into as the cost of transportation to the city centre can vary. Once in the city, the London Underground is your best bet for getting around. It's quick, efficient, and with an Oyster card, you can get cheaper fares. And hey, why not try out London's hire bike scheme for a fun and affordable way to see the city? Remember, every penny saved on accommodation and transportation is a penny you can spend on experiencing the best that London has to offer.